New at 5, Consumer Reports announced its top picks for those 2015 cars. And Consumer Advisor Clark Howard looks at their choices for safest vehicles for that teen driver. For those of us with teenagers at home, one of the most important choices we make is what kind of car we let our kids drive. Consumer Reports helps you navigate through the choices. They put all vehicles through a three-part safety test. The first is a dynamic driving course to see how the car handles in different situations. We also look at the crash test results from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety as well as the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And they have to pass, at least with an acceptable or a marginal score, the new Insurance Institute for Highway Safety narrow offset test, which kind of mimics two cars hitting each other at a glancing blow. Jonathan Linkov is the deputy autos editor at Consumer Reports. He says if the car fails any of those tests, they won't recommend it. This year, the Subaru Impreza scored the highest. We're just really impressed because of its all-wheel drive nature as well as the fuel economy, but the Honda Civic by no means is a bad choice. One thing they don't like about the Civic is the controls. The touchscreen can be confusing and could be a distraction for the driver. Linkov says the number one safety feature for any car is the driver. You have a vehicle that doesn't do well in crash tests, but the driver is safe and they don't engage in any kind of risky behavior, you're going to have a much better opportunity than a crazy driver in a very safe car. If the very best cars for a teen to drive are cars you can't afford, there's one thing I want to make sure you get on any car for a teen. It's electronic stability control. And you can find cars that are pretty old that have electronic stability control. It could mean the difference between life and death. I'm Clark Howard. And you can find a link to all the Consumer Reports top picks for those 2015 models at WSBTV.com. Happening now at